Hi, Charlie. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Corey Jernigan. I'm the president of University of San Diego College Republicans. My question is, with the growing security state and most media becoming blatant propaganda, a lot of people feel like they're the small individual. What can I do? I hold these beliefs, but like you said earlier, I feel alone. For the individual, other than voting, what would be your advice to make them feel like they can make a difference? Yeah, so you have to invest in self-sovereignty. So you have to don't ever try to be in a place where you never have to be dependent on the government. So from the currency that you have, I mean, I'm a big believer in alternative currencies, gold, silver. I, I do not have faith in the long-term perspective of the U.S. dollar at all. In fact, they're destroying the U.S. dollar every single year. That's what inflation is. Inflation is the continual slow-motion suicide of the U.S. dollar. Um, and this is going to sound, you know, it's going to be taken out of context, but I don't care. I think that anyone who's serious about self-sovereignty should own weapons and know how to use them and own them responsibly. Uh, and... I think that what we're seeing right now is we're seeing a rise in crime across the country while they're simultaneously trying to take our weapons away from us. Um, and it's not about fear mongering, but the, the standard norm of human history is chaos, bedlam, war, division, strife, civil conflict. We're all born into kind of a very stable country in a sense, and we're seeing it destabilize in front of our eyes. And then finally, don't, don't make excuses. Try to exercise your agency, get married and have lots of kids, stay loyally married to that person, uh, try to find Jesus Christ in your life, which I believe uh, is the most important decision that people can make. And, under, and despite everything that's against us, oh my goodness, the globalist, you know, all this sort of stuff, that's fine, we still live in a great country, we still can do something about it, get engaged on a local level, you can run for office, support those that do, support the petition signatures, um, and I'm optimistic because there's so much fight left in the American people. We are being pummeled right now by this regime every single day. They are trying to destabilize the country. There is a theory called the Cloward Piven political strategy or political theory that was introduced by political theorists back in the 1960s, 1970s. And they said the way that we are going to get left-wing domination, the way that we are going to get Marxist politics is by three things. Building a permanent deep state bureaucracy in Washington, D.C., borrowing so much money that we'll never be able to pay back and bankrupting the country, and having mass migration of people from all over the world and flooding the system of immigration. I wonder what those three things would ever look like if they came into practice. You can look it up. Cloward Piven strategy. What you are living through right now is not a mistake. It's not that Joe Biden and the current White House, they're stupid. They know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. It's a strategy. It's a plan. They're trying to overload the system so they can break it, so then they can build whatever comes next. Um, and if we have anything to say about it, we're going to say no and keep on building something that's bold and beautiful uh, and hopefully rooted in traditional con uh, conservative American values and principles. Thank you.